Hello, this is Chad Strack from Strack's Antiques. We're having another estate sale out at Heaven City, the old Heaven City restaurant out on National Avenue between Big Ben and McGuanago, real close to the Fox River at the intersection of Edgewood and National Avenue. National Avenue is also ES, Highway ES. This sale starts this Thursday, March 10th. And it ends um, March 13th, which is a Sunday. So Thursday through Sunday. Thursday is 9 to 5. And Friday, Saturday, Sunday is 10 till 3. Um, we added another full house into this estate, or into this estate sale. Um, everything that is left behind, which will be green, orange, and pink tags is already 50% off from the last sale. And our new our new tags or our new tag color for this sale is yellow. And that will be full price Thursday and Friday. And um Thursday and Friday will be full price and then Saturday and Sunday It'll be, well, Saturday is 25% off, and Sunday it is 50% off. Sorry, I can't videotape and talk at the same time. Um, kind of dark in here, but camera's picking it up. We added uh, a lot of really neat things this time around. Um, Tar somehow managed to fit a, a whole house into what was left over. So I'm trying to go slow here so you can kind of see what's going on. Unfortunately, just because we have so much work to do yet, I'm not answering phone calls. I'm not really answering questions. A lot of people ask, what, what's the price of this? What's the price of that? You just have to come out here if you're interested. Um, we get a lot of those kind of questions. And it's just, it's too, it takes too much time when you're trying to get stuff done. Um, so that's more or less the gist of it. This, this sale is going to be a little weird, um, uh, for, well, not weird, but just a little bit different. We're, we're going to have a, a special bid item. Um, it's that standard oil ladies, um, ladies, ladies restroom light. Probably saw pictures of it. Well, it's super rare. Couldn't find any prices on it. It's 19. We found it in um, Antique Collectible Magazine. There was a write-up about it. That's the only place we could even find find a, another one. Um, so we did find one other instance of it, and they called it a Standard Oil um, ladies' restroom, but they didn't give any kind of prices, and it was written a while ago. So that's going to be a special bid item just because we don't know really what it's worth. So how that will work is um, Thursday will be the only day that you can bid on it. And you will be contacted Thursday evening um, probably around si between 6 and 7 who who won that um, that item. So you have to be here in person to bid on it. You can't call in and ask to see more pictures or whatever if you want it. You got to be here and put in a bid. So um, it has to be picked up by Sunday um, the 13th. And that is that. I'll point it out when we get up there which item I'm talking about. This room here is Tara's crafts room, and mostly everything in this room um, is a firm price. So if you see a white tag on anything, it's a firm price. But if you see anything in here with, um, you know, different colored tags, then it's whatever that tag is. This area in the atrium room is, it's our primitive area. So most of the primitives are back in that area right there. 
but there's some on this shelf here too. Um, got a couple cool things here. Let's see. This rain lamp, it does work. Um, it takes mineral oil. All the mineral oil is out of it so that we could transport it. And there's a mid-century modern hanging chandelier there. And there's this chandelier. That's kind of neat. Um, a couple of red wing crocs. They're both in real nice shape. There's just a lot of cool stuff back in this area. I guess it's all what you like. I guess I kind of like this stuff. Um, we still got this stove. It needs to be cleaned and everything, but we thought somebody would use that, like an end table or something. It's pretty neat. We got all these eagles this time. Oh yeah, there's this, got another Victrola, and um, this clock. I don't know if you saw, we did have a lawyer's bookcase. I'll go back there real quick. I know that sparked a lot of interest last time, but there was a couple sewing machines here, treadle sewing machines, and then there's this um, lawyer's bookcase, just a three stacker. It's got empire style feet. Um, okay. Um, we have lots of paintings and pictures yet to put up. This paper room is a disaster. We did add a lot of cameras. Most of them are over there. There was this Sony reel to reel. It is a, it's a TC5600. Um, we did add a lot of stuff in here. Oh, there was a bunch of records. Um, they're in, they're in those books. There's three boxes of them. There's this box, one underneath, and then that one. I gotta find a spot for them yet. So, lots of paper, lots of magazines, lots of books, records, advertising stuff, postcards, photographs, um, lots of marbles. Got a bunch of Barbies in the original boxes. Lots of Easter stuff. Still got our fly baby airplane. It's pulling an American flag. So snowing out pretty good. This is the NASCAR room. Looks like Ralph still got to bring some stuff over. And this room, it belongs to the owner of this property. We we don't discount anything in this room. The NASCAR stuff is full price. And there is a lot of it here. So... pretty cool we added like all the all these walls were pretty bare after the last sale so we still got a lot to hang but we added we added a lot of prints and painting mainly I'm selling them for the frames the frames are pretty neat um, but there are some neat paintings and prints also um, in here there's a lot of religious stuff in this area. There's that old wheelbarrow. I will be bringing a little furniture, not a whole lot. Um, 
our next sale will bring a lot of furniture. I just have it at the warehouse. It's just the weather's not that nice to do the, do it this time of year. There's some pretty neat old photo albums, celluloid um, photo albums. This one actually has um, it's a music box, and I played it the other day. Super old, pretty cool. Um, that one has like horses and butterflies on it. That one's kind of neat. It folds out. So there are some, I think there's some tin types in this one up here. And oh yeah, I didn't turn it on, but here is our black light area. And all that stuff is going to be available for the people that like uranium glass. So, all right, we have tons and tons of jewelry. That's an old uh, Milwaukee Fire Department assistant lieutenant, I think. There's a lot of jewelry back here. These chairs will be available. They're pretty neat. Back in here, there's more jewelry. There is two big mirrors. There's one there and one there. Um, what else? That tomahawk is reproduction. Oh, I'll show you that item that is our special bid item. Special bid item is this piece right here. It does have a little crack. Well, it's a crack right in the plastic right there. And I don't know, it's about two inches long maybe. And besides that, there's paint on this side. Besides that, it's uh, paint should be able to come off pretty easy. It's made out of plastic, hard plastic. It's from the 40s. It's for standard oil. Um, there's some pretty cool lamps up there. An old yard-long World War One photograph. And... Back here we got we got Sandy Sandy the camel got that the other night. They had it they had it named Sandy so I'm gonna pass that on to the new owner. That Coca Cola it's a rotating Coca Cola don't know if it works the, it's it's pretty damaged a lot of the the roof is damaged some of the side pieces are cracked. I taped it back together. All the panels are in good condition, um, but it's a four-sided, all, all four sides, the panels are good, but the actual housing around it is in pretty bad shape. This is a really neat um, Green Bay Packer pan, uh, panor <laughs> panorama, and um, it says Paps Blue Ribbon on it, which that's, I, I couldn't find too many of them. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see, we got a lot of, got a lot of tins, or I mean trays. So, and then there's just a bunch of other steins and advertising mugs, that kind of stuff. Uh, let's see, dolls. I don't like being here too late because of this one. She, she's one-armed. Somebody sewed her one arm up, so pretty scary. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Toys. Lots of toys. Um, these trucks on the top row are really cool, but they're pretty beat up. But they're neat. And the ambulance is pretty cool, too. Um, and then we have this row, and these 
ones on the end are kind of beat up too. All right. Bottles, bottles, bottles. More toys back here. More toys up here. They were played with, but they're cool. These are actual paintings. This Green Bay Packer neon, it is, what is it? I think it's something title town or great team, good call. Good call. Great team. Good call. I don't know. It is 2005. Miller Brewing Company. It does have it does have a damaged um, piece of uh, right here in the the word team. So that that would have to be repaired. Um, I did call a place to get it repaired, and they wanted. 180 something like 187 dollars to repair it so gives you an idea what it costs to repair um i just have the tool room to show you and then i'll get this uploaded hope to see you out here once again that is march 10th through March 10th through the 13th. We do have a sign-in sheet on Thursday, March 10th. That will be, that's an old squeeze box there. That'll be um, put out at 6 a.m. on Thursday. And one sign up per person. Um, and we will let approximately 35 people in we reserve the right to let more or less in and change any rules at any time so there's tons of tools back here as you can see i have a lot of work to do back here yet it'll look nice by thursday might look like we have a lot to do, but we get it done somehow. I was. All right. Can't wait to see everybody. Have a good week. Bye.